Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com and today I'm excited to unbox and check out the Fine Fine Tank 3 USB XLR dynamic microphone. This mic offers the best of both worlds with dual USB and XLR compatibility, meaning whether you're just starting out with a simple USB plug and play setup or going for a more professional XLR setup, this mic has you covered. And I'll be walking you through the unboxing, the setup, and connection options plus sharing my final thoughts on whether or not this mic will be a good fit for digital creators. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all of the AI, web, and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's unbox this mic and see what it can do. All right, thanks again to Fine Fine for sending this mic over. I've had the pleasure of using and testing a handful of their products and I'm a huge fan of everything that I've used so far, so let's take a closer look at this mic. Okay, inside the box, the first thing you'll see is the Tank 3 user guide. It's filled with a lot of helpful info on how to use the mic, so definitely give it a read if you're new to setting up audio gear. Next, we have the USB-C to USB-A cable, which is what you'll use to connect the mic to your computer via USB. If you're going to use an XLR cable, which we'll do in a little later on, you will need to purchase that separately. And now for the main event, the Tank 3 microphone itself. By the way, you could feel that it's hefty, has an all-metal build quality, it's sturdy, it's sleek, and the matte black finish looks great. This thing is definitely built to last. And on the back of the mic, we have the USB-C and XLR ports, so you've got flexibility in how you connect it, either with the USB or XLR cable. We also have a headphone jack. It's a 3.5 millimeter, which is great for monitoring your voice in real time. If you like to fine tune your sound while recording, this is super handy. And then on the side, there are knobs for microphone gain and headphone volume. These are really intuitive and let you adjust things on the fly. And then on the other side, you'll find the pivot mount. Just turn the knob to adjust the angle when you attach it to the mic stand or boom arm. And on the top of the mic is an LED light indicator and mute button. If the light is green, the mic is active. If you press that, the light will turn red and mute the mic's audio. Now let's talk about the mic's core, the dynamic microphone capsule with the cardioid polar pattern. And for those who don't know, this means the mic primarily picks up sound from the front while rejecting noise from the sides and back, making it perfect for recording in noisy environments or for streaming when you wanna isolate your voice. Overall, the build quality and features are pretty top notch. Next up, let's get this mic mounted on a stand. So one of the great features here is that the Tank 3 comes with both 3 8 and 5 8 thread options, so you won't need an adapter to connect it to most stands or boom arms. All you have to do is screw it onto your stand like so, and you're good to go. Super easy and convenient. Now that it's set up, let's connect this mic to a computer. But first, I'm gonna show you how to set it up using the USB-C cable. So first things first, We'll plug the USB-C side of the cable into the back of the microphone using the USB-C port. And as we went over during the unboxing, the mic comes with the USB-C to USB-A cable, but because I'm using a MacBook Pro with only USB-C ports, I'll need to use an adapter, which I had to purchase separately. But you could also just use a USB-C to USB-C cable if you have it. And then again, using my adapter to connect it to my Mac. And I'll just plug it in like so. Then if your computer doesn't recognize the mic automatically, don't worry, you might just need to go into your audio input output settings and manually select the Tank 3 as your input device. Also, once connected, you'll see the green LED light on the top of the mic. This indicates that it's live and ready to record audio. However, if you click it, that will mute the mic as indicated by the red light. Then just click the button again to unmute it. Also, you have mic gain and headphone volume controls here on the side of the mics with those two knobs. Next, let's go over how to connect the Tank 3 using an XLR cable, which is where the audio interface comes into play. And if you're not familiar with an audio interface, it's a device that converts the analog signal from your XLR mic into a digital signal that your computer can understand. And this setup is essential for high quality audio recording because it gives you more control over your sound. And for this demo, I'm using the Fine Fine Amplitank SC1 audio interface. And if you want more details on that interface, I have a full review and tutorial video, which I'll link to in the video description below. Okay, so here's how you'll set everything up. First, connect your audio interface to your computer. 
It'll just plug into the USB-C port. Next, take your XLR cable and plug the female side into the back of the Tank 3 mic. And again, you'll have to purchase this cable separately. Then plug the male side of the XLR cable into the audio interface. Again, you may need to adjust your input output settings in your Mac settings or on the audio interface itself to make sure that the mic is recognized properly and to adjust the volume, output, and mic gain. And that's it. That's how you'll connect using an XLR cable for even richer, more professional sound. All right, on that note, let's wrap things up with my final thoughts on the Fine Fine Tank 3. So first off, the cardioid polar pattern is fantastic for isolating your voice, which is perfect for podcasts, streams, or any situation where you want to block out all the background noise. The build quality is super durable. I love that it comes with both USB and XLR options, making it versatile for multiple recording setups. And the sound quality is clear, crisp, and having real-time voice monitoring through the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is a huge plus. Also, it's incredibly easy to use, whether you're a beginner or an experienced creator. So if you're looking for a reliable dynamic microphone with pro-level features, the Fine Fine Tank 3 is definitely worth checking out. And speaking of that, if you head over to Fine Fine's Amazon listing, I've linked to it in the video description below, you could check out the price of the Tank 3. And as you could see, for only $79.99 US dollars, you could purchase this mic, which in my opinion is a great deal for a high quality mic that will improve your audio and make a great addition to any setup. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.